Furio's exit from The Sopranos deviated from the show's usual tradition. The series, created by David Chase and airing from 1999 to 2007, had many departures throughout its six seasons, with many characters, such as Ralph and Christopher, being killed by the big man himself, Tony Soprano, and others like Bobby dying in conflicts with rival crime families. Furio, who was introduced in Season 2, Episode 4 as a loyal member of Don Vittorio's crew, was the only main character to depart the show without being killed off. On screen at least. He was brought to America by Tony under the pretense to work in Artie's restaurant and, unlike most of Tony's crew, was known for his gentlemanly, sensitive, and respectful behavior towards women. This led to complications with his boss's wife, Carmela, and ultimately resulted in his departure from the show. Today I'm talking about Furio and what might have happened to him. Stay tuned to find out! Furio, originally from the Zucca mob family in Italy, was a highly loyal enforcer for Tony Soprano in New Jersey. Some memorable scenes featuring Furio include his raid on a massage parlor in Season 2, Episode 5, Big Girls Don't Cry, and his confrontation with two associates over Tony's cut in the episode. In contrast to the rest of Tony's crew, Furio was portrayed as more refined and professional in his approach, despite his violent tendencies. Due to Tony's trust in him, Furio became his personal driver and spent a lot of time at the Soprano residence, which resulted in Carmela developing feelings for him. Although Carmela repressed her attraction, the sexual tension between her and Furio grew as he also developed feelings for her. However, Furio knew that getting involved with a mob boss's wife would lead to a hit on his head, as his uncle in Naples warned him. Furio's final appearance in The Sopranos is in Season 4, Episode 12, where he briefly contemplates killing Tony Soprano, acting on the advice of his uncle who suggested that the only way for Furio to be with Carmela would be to murder Tony. He grabs Tony by the shoulders and considers throwing him into the rotating blades of a helicopter. He quickly changes his mind, warning Tony to step away before boarding the helicopter and deciding to return to Naples. It's uncertain if Tony knew of Furio's intent to kill him, but Carmela's later revelations about her feelings for Furio in the season 4 finale may have caused Tony to reconsider this drunken moment. Carmela's admission of her attraction to Furio leads to a temporary separation from Tony, but it also makes it impossible for Furio to return. Tony threatens to have Furio killed if he ever resurfaces and claims to have men searching for him. Despite this, Furio's death is never reported to Tony, so unlike many other characters in The Sopranos, he's still alive at the end of the series. This is fortunate for Tony and Carmela's marriage, as Furio's assassination would have been the final straw for the couple, if Carmela would have found out that is. Furio's ultimate fate is uncertain in The Sopranos. Although Tony threatens to have him killed if he returns, there's no concrete evidence that he is actually dead. Tony's statements about Furio's death are also called into question due to his tendency to lie to Carmela and the high risk and potential consequences of ordering a hit on a respected made guy like Furio for simply having feelings for his wife. In fact, Tony was never able to confirm that Furio had feelings for his wife, as the man was sensible enough not to act on them. Tony does have boss status, which would allow him to put a hit on anyone he wanted, but putting a hit on Furio could still affect both Tony's status and the relationship between New Jersey and New York and Naples. Given these factors, it's likely that Furio was still alive and has not been killed by Tony's command. The Sopranos is known for showing the consequences of killing characters, whether they be ghosts haunting the characters or hits being put out on people. For example, Tony shoots his own cousin, Tony B, for starting a mob war after killing Billy Leotardo. If Tony had ordered a hit on Furio for his feelings towards Carmela, it would have likely ended similarly to Johnny Sack's attempt to order a hit on Ralph for a crude joke about his wife, where the hit was not sanctioned as it would have been seen as an overreaction. There is a possibility that Furio has moved on with his life and potentially risen through the ranks of the Neapolitan Zucca crime family, which is more respected than Tony Soprano's crew. His effectiveness in the mob suggests that he may have become a capo or even a boss, and is likely in a better position in Naples than in Jersey. This is a refreshing thought, especially since Tony is ultimately killed in the show, as creator David Chase has confirmed. The general consensus on the internet is that Furio went back to Italy and is just fine. However, fans of the show have presented plenty of other scenarios too. 
For example, one fan pointed out that Furio has said at one point that he doesn't feel at home in either place, America nor Italy. So he suspects Furio went somewhere else where he could forget about Carmela and the entire ordeal. Another theory for his disappearance is that the actor who was playing Furio had apparently got too big for his boots, and David Chase had to cast him out of the show one way or another. Once Carmela fell in love with him, he was going to have to disappear in some way. Also, when people are written out of a show for being difficult or whatever, it usually happens between seasons, when they're asking for more money for the next season, etc. But Furio's arc ended gradually in mid-season. The last theory is that Furio doesn't have a happy ending. Tony had mentioned that if certain people see him, he would be a dead man. And if what he said is true, then Furio will most likely be in hiding. He can't go back to his family since they are allies with the Sopranos family, so he needs to hide somewhere else. However, this last theory doesn't seem as plausible as the other ones. Furio is a made man in Italy and he would be protected by his own. This is especially true since the Naples family is known to not respect Tony as much as their own. But what do you think happened to Furio? Do you believe any of the theories mentioned, or have you heard of others? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoy learning more about your favorite mob movies and TV shows, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.